Respected viewers, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the program 114 Dialogues with Quran. Today we are going to discuss Surah At Takasur. At Takasur means the lust for wealth, acquisition of wealth and money and worldly gains. This word has been taken from the opening verse of the surah Al-Haq Muttaqasu Acquisition of wealth and money destroyed you Hatta Zurtumul Maqabir until you reach the graves This is Makki surah It comprises one ruku and eight verses The main topic of this surah, first one is lust for worldly gains, money and wealth at the cost of our eternal bliss, at the cost of our faith and good deeds. This attitude has been condemned in the very opening lines. Another topic that is that one must visit the graves and one must try to understand what is the ultimate end of man's life. If a person is very much proud and arrogant and he is proud of his wealth, status, money and worldly gains, he should visit the tombs, he should visit the shrines and graveyard so that he could know what is the ultimate reality. ad dunya mazratul akhira this word is just like the crops and harvesting for the second life. So if we perform good deeds and actions, we will get good reward from Allah Almighty. But unfortunately, if we are indulged in revelries of life and we are not obedient loyal to commandments of Allah Almighty, then the man would have to pay for his bad deeds. Another topic is that life of the day of judgment is a fact and reality and it will never be changed. Some idolaters and non-believers were not ready to accept this fact. But this surah tells that it is a fact and Allah Almighty has fixed it. No one can change the day of judgment. Another topic is that we should be very much careful about our worldly deeds as Hazrat Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that every person would be held answerable for his life, for his youth, for his sources of income, for his means of expenditures. So, we should not be ignorant of this fact and reality that it is a joke. More than 1 lakh and 25 approximately messengers and prophets of Allah Almighty were sent. Various books were revealed only to teach this fact and reality that one should not claim to Allah Almighty that I was not informed about all these facts and faiths. So, Latus Alunna Yomazin Anin Naim, Allah Almighty will ask everything about all of our amenities and the benefits and all the blessings Allah Almighty has granted to man. It will be held answerable for that. Thanks to my Sahib. Mm -hmm.